Well, these, you might think, are amongst the most useless objects in the world, triangular wheels. But really, they're not as bad as that. They're much better than square wheels. And if you treat them right, they're almost as good as the circular kind. How do you know that? Well, you can design your own and see. And I'll show you how to design them. And they really are very simple. They're based on an equilateral triangle, which I'm sure you know has all angles and all sides the same. And to do one of those, you need compasses and a ruler. Let's make a little point here on some card. That's what you'll need to make them stiff enough. Put the point of the compasses there and swing an arc round there. And somewhere on that arc, make another mark. And if you put the compass points there and move the point of the pencil through the arc, you've got three points that you can now connect. Now if we do that, you get side one, side two, and then side three of the equilateral triangle. And the wheel is almost all designed. But it does have to have curved sides. You've got one of them there. You can see that's the one that we described with a pencil like this. If you move the point of the compasses to the next corner, you can do the same thing across those two. And finally, with the compass point there, you can swing an arc and your wheel is completely designed. When you've done that, cut it out carefully. In fact, make several of them all the same size. Well, that's a bit rough, but they'll come out looking like that. And they are remarkable things known as curves of constant width. They've got some very peculiar properties. But you can see the curve running around the equilateral triangle. Well, of course, if you put those on a car, you'd be in for a rude shock. It really wouldn't work awfully well, because a car s suspends the body and the seats from the axles. And if I do that with a ruler here, you can see that the ruler gets a very rough trot indeed, like that. If you were sitting inside it, you'd get such a rough ride that it would probably throw you out of the car, like that. So, as conventional wheels, they're a disaster. But as rollers, there's something else. Let's see why. Being curves of constant width means that, really, whatever part is on the ground, the top part is always the same distance from it wherever they are in their cycle. And that means if we line them up like this, we're going to have a whole lot of points which are all the same distance off the ground. Doesn't look like it, but they are. That means that we can put a platform on them and roll them along. Let's put this platform on like that and perhaps put a little person on there. Now watch, as I push this along, the platform gets a very smooth ride indeed. Those little triangular rollers are turning around underneath it, but being curves of constant width, they never go up and down. And so the platform gets a very smooth ride until eventually it runs out of rollers. And that's, of course, how they work. Those are a very peculiar shape, and they've been used for a variety of objects. One of them is a most extraordinary thing, which is a drill that drills, believe it or not, square holes. It was actually manufactured, Watts Chuck and Drill. And the drill not only spun around, but it went in a sort of eccentric movement like the planets around the sun. It's a bit hard to describe, but this model shows you how it works. You can see that there's the basic shape of this triangle in that, but the drill's been chewed out on three sides to make a cutting edge. And as it spun around like that, it also went around in a circle like that. And doing that, if I can show you, it cut into the timber that it was drilling. Like that, 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 and that. Literally drilling square holes. Doesn't sound possible, but it was manufactured and sold. So there you are, triangular wheels, not as silly as you might think.